Here, we have a remarkable piece of history. This metal detector find from a field in England is thought to be an authentic Viking's axe head, estimated to be over 1,000 years old. So, it may have had its part to play in large-scale conquests throughout Europe. Stay with us as we restore this Viking axe back to the formidable weapon it once was. To begin, let's use our Dremel to gently grind off the burrs around the socket, where the axe has been folded over. Now, switching to a wire wheel, we'll carefully go over the surface of the axe head to remove as much rust as we can. A sanding drum helps to smoothen the tougher areas. Here, we're gun bluing the axe to give a forged, darkened finish to the steel. Now we can finally finish the bevel to give it that extra bit of shine.
A touch of beeswax balm is added to protect the metal. To breathe some life back into the weapon, we wanted to add our very own touch. Viking, or Norse art, is characteristic for its abstract designs of animals, humanoid figures, and elaborate patterns. So, we designed our own to laser engrave onto the axe surface. A common pattern seen in Viking design is the intertwining of shapes, or spirals, known as Norse knotwork. That's what we've gone for here. Now we have our design, let's get it engraved. It's crucial to select the right piece of timber as both the grain structure and prevalence of knots are unique to each piece of wood and dictate the final design. We're using a pre-dried ash wood. Just as the original handle would have been made, we're opting not to use power tools or machines, so it'll be as authentic as possible. Instead, we'll use a selection of axes and chisels We'll draw the guidelines for the knotwork carving on the negative space of the wood. In sculpting, the positive space is solid and the negative space is the area around it. With a pencil, we map out the lines of the knotwork carving.
A chisel with a curved blade allows pressure to be applied more freely when carving at an angle. By carving a series of long, circular lines around the base, we begin to carve a design inspired by a violin scroll. Now, we will refine the depth and shape of all the curves and spirals along the knotwork. By cutting at a 95 degree angle into the overlaps, we create the weave. Wire brushes and sandpaper remove any stubborn areas of timber. Then, the axe is knocked onto the block, while a wedge helps to ease it in. The wedge is also vital for another reason. It creates friction between the head and handle, locking the axe head in place. Danish oil is applied. This semi-seals the surface and slows down the drying process, meaning it will not succumb to cracks over time. To support this process, we pass the handle through a flame which ignites the Danish oil and allows it to sink deeper into the wood.
Charring the timber like this darkens the surface, but also accentuates the carving lines, bringing our handle to life. We lightly heat the handle and apply beeswax onto the surface, so it melts into the timber and gives it a natural shine. The areas that are too burnt are sanded down. Then further Danish oil is reapplied to the surface. And there you have it. This formidable Viking weapon has been fully restored to its former glory. Thank you for watching.